is so photogenic. I'm very happy she's doing this. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kyle Kendillion, and I'm holding a lovely adult female Blabberus giganteus here. This is one of the largest or longest cockroaches in the world. They're native to South America. They live in tree hollows. Uh, they eat bat droppings and fruit that they find that uh, falls into the trees. Um, and this is one of my favorite species of cockroach, one of many. I have about 130 different varieties, maybe about 100 species of cockroaches here in my roach room. All captive bred and captive raised. I've been raising cockroaches for seven years, going on eight years. And I love every minute of it. <laughs> There's all these different life history and, and behavioral and and also they have a, a bacteria inside of them, an endosymbiont bacteria that allows them to recycle nitrogen. So they don't need to eat a lot of protein to survive. They can keep growing and growing and growing without ingesting large amounts of protein. So the fact that there are these two organisms intimately dependent on each other, and it's found in almost all roaches, maybe about 90, 98, 99% of roaches have this bacteria. And that relationship and the way that it could relate to humans in the future ways we recycle our, our biomass or, or recycle household waste or, or process things like even maybe even styrofoam cockroaches might be able to digest that. Just the way that that could be linked to benefits for humankind in this creature that a lot of people just say oh it's a cockroach and just sort of discard it. Stomp. Yeah stomp. All these different technologies and innovations we can take from this very humble creature. It's just very mind-boggling to me.